Want to have a way to learn all about RVing and it's free and super easy? Well, stick around, folks. You're going to want to check this out. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike. And I'm Susan. And we are RV Blogger. And if you've seen us before, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing and we also have our website rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And now, in addition to all of that, we have a Facebook group that we would love if you would join. It's called RV Camping for Newbies. But it's not just for newbies. It's for anyone that's interested in sharing and learning all about RVing. Yep, RV newbies, snowbirds, weekend warriors, full-time RVers, all are invited to join the group. In fact, we have a bunch of full-timers in the group currently who are sharing advice, answering questions, doing all of that stuff. And we also have some other RV bloggers and YouTubers in the group as right, well. Right, right. Go together, go far. Yep. And way beyond the norm. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Jim O'Brien, who's the owner of OvernightRVParking.com, which if you've seen some of our other videos, we did a video on our favorite way to find free places to stay overnight. And so Jim is just a wealth of information and he's in the group as well. Right, so RV Camping for Newbies is a great way to learn all this information, share your tips and tricks, ask questions, and you learn some lessons along the way as well. Yeah, and it's also a great way to meet other RVers and keep in touch with them as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have topics, you know, like Monday, we'll have Menu Monday because we're always looking for great recipes. Absolutely. Right. Tips and Tricks Tuesdays because you may have a shortcut that somebody else would love to know. Yep. You know, what could go wrong Wednesday because right. something always goes wrong. Every Wednesday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On Thursdays, it might be Throwback Thursday. It might be Thirsty Thursday where you share your favorite cocktail. And then, of yep. course, TGI Friday, where, you know, show, let us know what you're doing for the weekend. Uh, where are you going to go camping? Or maybe you're renovating. Yeah, yeah. And we also post fun questions for everyone to answer, like, would you rather tow a camper behind your truck? Or would you rather tow a vehicle behind your motorhome? Or if you were going to go camping and you could only bring two items, one luxury item, one necessity item, what would those two items be? And we also did a poll on if you were going to rent an RV what kind of RV would you rent? Mm -hmm. And actually we ran that poll in the Class C RV one mm -hmm. because they're drivable, they're right. easy, it makes sense that that would- A little less intimidating. Yeah, it makes sense that that would win the poll. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, but you can ask any kind of questions that you want mm -hmm. in the group. That's what it's really all about. It's a way to learn from other RVers and share your experiences and learn from theirs at the same time. So mm -hmm. we've had some very interesting questions along the way. One of our viewers, Barry, was going to hang some things on the wall in his RV. And so he posted a question in the group like, how thick are travel trailer walls? And so, you know, he didn't want to drive a screw in the wall and have, that, have it come out the side of his RV. <laughs> and we had another lady in the group who wanted to know, she, she had heard that maybe buying an RV, um, she could get a good deal if she bought one from Cruise America, which is a large RV rental company. They do sell their RVs after they hit a certain mileage. And she was wondering if she should buy one to, from there. So she got some great advice mm -hmm. on that topic as well. Mm -hmm. And you can share camping memes or funny pictures. I mean, we've had a ton of people who have seen uh, really cute little eclectic vintage RVs. They've shared yeah. those pictures. Maybe you, you know, you can share a, a funny story that you uh, have read about as well, or it could be about a remodel project because I'm always about the remodel project. I love to see the before and afters. Um, we have a member who uh, added an extension to her countertop because, yeah. as you know, trailers never have enough counter space, and so she, you know, added that, posted that picture, and I just thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, and now Susan wants me to install a <laughs> countertop extension in our RV. So thanks a lot, Stacy, for that. You. We appreciate that. <laughs> very much right and then we even have somebody <laughs> that wants to remodel the bathroom and so she has a question yeah her question was like she had caulk around the vanity top where it met the wall and she wanted to know if she could leave the caulk there and caulk over it or if she had to 
yeah. remove all I, that I and that myself, but, yeah which you can't no, do that you have to remove the old but anyway so any any of those kinds yeah. of questions there's tons of mm -hmm. questions that people have just mm -hmm. you know what battery should i have how does my refrigerator work why won't right. my water heater get hot mm -hmm. i mean there's a million things and so it's a great way to ask all those questions and then get your answers mm -hmm. from a lot of people very quickly and sometimes, you know, if you're the ultimate newbie, uh, you may have some life-changing questions that you want to ask. Yeah. For example, we have a member who, you know, she uh, lives in a cold climate and uh, she's thinking, should she sell her house, buy a motorhome, travel south, be a little warmer? This is something that's kept her up at night. She's thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, posted the question, had an enormous amount of response to it, yeah. uh, tons of support, tons of encouragement. Uh, Mike suggested maybe she should try to rent one, uh, see if... Try it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, if that's something that she would like to do. Four days later, she posted a picture where she rented a trailer, and so now uh, she's got a ton more questions. <laughs> yeah. But that's great because uh, she took that leap of faith, and uh, we are just so you know stoked about the fact that she asked questions, got response, took that leap and um, yeah. you know now she's learning how to be an RVer right right <laughs> making some life-changing decisions yep yep so we hope you'll be uh, interested in joining the group we really hope you will and it's easy to join all you have to do is uh, just search for RV camping for newbies on Facebook or just click the link down in the show notes below there's two really easy little questions that you have to answer just so I know you're a human being we will approve you to be in the group and it's just that easy and then once you're approved, just introduce yourself. If you have a rig, post a picture. If you're about to go camping, share that with us. Or if you have a question, now's the time to ask. So, you know, yeah. just share away. Just jump right on in there. So we hope you'll be interested in joining the group. We would love to see you in there. It's a great way to meet some fellow RVers, learn some tips and tricks. Yeah. Have a great time. Nothing better than the RV community. Absolutely. All right. So see you in the group. Hope to see you there.